like, this is like a uh, Silicon Valley tech job massacre of 2022 at this point. I mean, it's getting really ridiculous. It is, but tell us about what's going on behind the scenes. What do these layoffs tell us about the goals or direction of Amazon going forward? Yeah, so Amazon is basically scaling back its uh, Alexa business. Um, uh, you know, in the past four or five years, Amazon invested heavily in its voice uh, technology business, uh, hired 10,000 people at one point. Uh, but now it seems like they've come to the realization that uh, they may have overexpanded, overinvested, and um, they were overly optimistic about this uh, business. And, um, you know, so they, as part of a major cost cutting tour, um, you know, they're laying off people, they're shutting down multiple programs, and it seems like uh, Alexa is one of the main targets for that. So then what does that mean, Eugene, for Alexa products and customers? Yeah, I mean, to be clear, uh, Amazon said publicly that they will continue to invest in Alexa. So it's not like they're shutting it down, mm -hmm. but um, it's it's kind of like com the company going back to the drawing board. They want to re reassess the priorities and uh, reevaluate where they want to go with Alexa. The The engagement is there. They're, the people love using Alexa, but um, they haven't been able to build a very sustainable business model around it. And so it's been losing a lot of money, uh, billions of dollars a year. And um, now the team is trying to be a little more uh, selective and conservative in how they invest money in it. You know, this has been such a bumpy ride for tech companies, as we've seen. Amazon has told um, uh, laid off employees that they have 60 days, essentially, to find another position internally. So is that actually happening? And where are all of these laid off tech employees going? Yeah, I mean, with Amazon, uh, they haven't been uh, the most transparent um, in their process so far. So uh, a lot of it remains to be seen. It's it's kind of unclear. Uh, but what we do know is that um, uh, Amazon expects to lay off uh, up to 10,000 people, which is uh, the company's, uh, it would be the largest in company history. And, you know, uh, we're seeing this across the industry. It's kind of unprecedented in the past you know, seven, eight years I covered the industry, I, ha I haven't seen anything like this. And um, for, for Amazon employees, there's just a lot of anxiety. Um, you know, the, the there haven't been a lot of communication from the company. So um, people are even asking me about some, you know, more details about the layoffs. Um, so, but at this point, it's really just wait and see mode. Yeah, I mean, Eugene, so then what's going on more broadly in the industry, right? Because we've been following layoffs at Twitter for a while and Amazon and other tech companies making cuts. I mean, what's behind this industry shift and does it show any sign of slowing down? Yeah, in, in Amazon's case, uh, they've seen exponential growth during the pandemic. So during the two year pandemic, uh, they doubled in size and, um, you know, invested heavily in expanding. Uh, now that growth uh, the kind of pandemic driven growth is slowing down and um, add that to the kind of worsening economic climate, um, you know, Amazon and all these tech companies are just bracing for the worst. And, you know, that means they're trimming the fat, uh, they're cutting back a lot of projects they invested in, uh, things that are not returning, you know, financial uh, benefits, then, you know, a lot of them are getting axed. So, uh, across the industry, there's just a lot of concerns and um, anxiety. Yeah, tough times in many sectors, including tech. Eugene Kim, Eugene, thanks so much. Crazy, bro. Like, I don't even know what, what how to process this anymore. I mean, you had some, some of the smaller companies that was doing the layoffs here and there, 1,000 here, 800 here, 400 here. But when the big boys started going off tens of thousands, I mean, wow, I mean... This and they gotta be the worst possible time. You're going into the holidays, inflation so high, interest rates so high, and if everybody is laying off, where do you find a new job? Especially so fast. There's gonna be thousands of other people looking for jobs too.